In today's video, we delve into the profound wisdom of Friedrich Nietzsche and explore a captivating passage from his book, Thus Spoke Zarathustra. The passage centers around a sage who, surprisingly, urges his followers to abandon him and mistrust him. Let's unravel the meaning behind these thought-provoking words through a captivating dialogue. Our story begins with a young student who spent years seeking enlightenment, traveling across countries and living among ascetic groups. However, his quest proved fruitless. Defeated, he decided to work on a farm, where he encountered a simple yet wise farmer. The student engaged in philosophical debates with the farmer, gradually realizing the depth of his wisdom. Farmer said, I believe it's time for you to leave me. Student replied, Leave? But why? Farmer said, Listen, when you arrived here, we had much to learn from each other. We grew together, challenging one another's ideas. Your mind was curious and inquisitive. However, lately you've started accepting everything I say without questioning. You've transformed from an inquirer into a believer, and I won't allow you to do that to yourself or to me. We'll both be better off if you leave. Student asked, But I came here in search of truth, and I found it in you. Farmer questioned, Truth? Kid, you're lost. Student said, Why would you send me away like this? How can you do that to me? Farmer explained, Let me show you something. Look at this map. What do you see? Student replied, I see our farm, the nearby river, and the mountains. Farmer said, No, what you see is an image of our farm, the river, and the mountains, not the things themselves. Now tell me, what can you learn from this map? Student replied, I can learn the farm's location, the height of the mountain, the whereabouts of the berry trees, and where we plant our carrots. Farmer explained again, No, you can't. Give it a few millennia. The river will dry up, the mountains will shift, and this farm might become a city. You can't learn about the farm as it is. You can only perceive an image frozen in time. You see, a person's memory is like this map. It captures a mere shadow of reality, something they can share, but it can never provide the true essence. One can share their memories of truth, but they can never offer truth itself. They can tell you where the farm was, but you must verify it for yourself. If you genuinely seek truth, there can be no intermediaries, no middlemen. Otherwise you follow the middleman, not the truth. Student replied, But what's wrong with following you? Farmer explained, If you follow me, you'll live according to my memories. You'll live according to my map, and you'll never learn to create your own. What if my map is flawed? Then you'll be lost with me, incapable of correcting me because you never learn to navigate on your own. And if you can't correct me, then we can no longer help each other. However, if you learn to see for yourself, if you construct your own map of reality, then we can come together as friends and individuals. We can compare our maps and assist one another in perceiving reality as it truly is. When both of us see reality as it is, we can embark on a journey together, as equals. Student replied, I suppose you're right. I'll start packing my things. In a letter to his sister, Nietzsche wrote, If you wish to strive for peace of soul and pleasure, then believe. If you wish to be a devotee of truth, then inquire. From this perspective, Zarathustra encourages his followers to leave him because they still merely believe. He urges them to become inquirers, to doubt him, to verify his words, and ascertain if they arrive at the same vision of reality. Only when they independently arrive at this shared understanding can they truly travel through life together as equals. Nietzsche emphasizes the importance of avoiding blind followership and maintaining a direct connection to reality. He suggests that individuals who inquire, construct their own maps, and uphold their unique perspectives bring genuine value to society. By fostering independent verification and the possibility of correction, we can collectively gain a deeper understanding of the world. However, it's crucial to remember that this interpretation is merely my own understanding of Nietzsche's words and not intended as advice. I invite you to utilize this information as you see fit, and if you possess a different perspective on Nietzsche's ideas, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay curious and keep questioning.